My experience has been crazy. It's been a whirlwind. I learned a lot of new things. Uh, just about myself and about how everything about how the game is at the next level. Everything, everything just about getting my game better and tightening up all, everything about my game and every single aspect, whether it be dunking the ball or the, my intensity or my dribbling or my shooting. So just getting better all around. Yes, sir. Um, so is there a specific player that you kind of just focus your game around, that, like that you dial in, watch all the time? It could be anyone in the playoffs right now or anyone of the past, anyone that's in your ear. Um, Really, uh, Rudy Gobert, like DeAndre Jordan type players, Clint Capella, those guys, they start off with a minuscule role and they just work their way up and they blossom into like the NBA players they are today. And it's not much that they do, but they do they do the job, which is similar to mine. So there's a couple, uh, few players that I usually look after. I just, I obviously want to be, like you said, I have some things that other guys don't have, so I, I would think I should be the first big taken. So with that with that being said, I just want to start start somewhere and wherever I'm, wherever city I'm in, just start there from the ground up and just work my way up to where I, Hopefully one day I can be NBA great. And um, where's where's your shooting at right now? Where is it is it is it developing? Is it you know at a, at a level where you where you we kind of think that you're more comfortable with it? Yeah. Is that, is that one of the main things you're working on? Yeah. No. We do a lot of shooting here. One thing I've always been able to rely on is my jump shot, just because I haven't always been the biggest person. So it's either been agility, getting past somebody, or just uh, uh, getting pulled up for a jump shot. Mm -hmm. So. That's been always been something I can rely on, and it's, we've been working on it a lot here. And it's, I feel like I've got making huge shots in that in that sense of making the shot go in the basket. Mm -hmm. So the first thing you do when you get drafted, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do for your family? What are some of the things on your list? Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell everybody thank you. I, everyone, it is, it's been like a huge. There's a lot of greetings that, that come into me, and a lot of people that help me out. So I just want to tell everybody thank you, and let everybody know how humble and and how appreciative I am for everybody's help. And then. Obviously, I want to help my mom out and get get her whatever she wants. She's, she's my queen or whatever, so she, and she's helped me get to the spots where I'm in, in, am today. So mm. that's those will probably be the first two things. Uh, tell everybody thank you and give my mom whatever she wants. <laughs> yeah, we can call her over here and ask her, but it's really whatever she wants. All right. Um, and uh, just lastly, what do you want NBA teams to know about you? Some things that no one knows. Some, you know, I, I know you've done a lot of interviews. I know you've done a lot of things. What are what are just some key things that no one knows about you that that you that would potentially help your draft stock? Um, <clears throat> you talking about like on the court wise or like just like uh, well, intangibles, like yeah, just just intangibles off the court. Just I would say just my IQ for the game and how much I know the game. I think it's uh, prevalent. I don't know. You can see how I, the way I pass the ball and how I like uh, engage engage everyone on the floor. Just like how good my IQ is and how good of a basketball player I am at, and, and from the uh, the thought aspect of everything. Okay. Like, I, hear, I hear the Golden One Center is like crazy. So. It's just, um, it, it'll, it'll be fun to be, if I was in Sacramento and then just bring another personality to the team, a positive personality, a positive perspective, so. It's a little bit because your whole life is about to change in just yeah. about, about just, three, just three three seconds as soon as you walk across that stage. Uh, I'm not, I, I never usually get nervous, but I, I can say that I am a little like anxious to see where I'll, I'll be at. Um, like anybody was? Yeah, yeah. Like that's, it's like, a, it's literally like a lottery. Like you don't know if you, where, where you're going to be at. So it'll be fun. It's going to be fun though. I'm going to make the best out of it and I'm going to time, have a fun time with my family afterwards. Hopefully so be celebrating with, with the family and my friends. And then definitely get your mom something nice too. Of course, of All course. Right. There you guys have it. We got uh, Justin Patton here. He should, should be going somewhere within the mid first round. Thank you very much. Thank you.